Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we'll discuss a very interesting and a very important topic that is the mean squared error. Where it is used and why do we actually need this mean squared function when there are already so many methods to evaluate the model. So, watch this video till the end and if this is your first visit to our channel, please click on the subscribe buttons so that you do not miss any update. Let's start by defining what is mean squared error. Mean squared error measures the amount of error in a statistical model. It calculates the average squared difference between the observed and predicted values. In regression line, the mean squared error represents the average squared residual. As you can see in the graph, as the data points fall closer to the regression line, the model has a less error, decreasing the mean squared error. A model with less error produces more precise predictions. Now let's jump to our Excel workbook and discuss it with an example. Here we have a small table with the actual and predicted values. We'll start by finding the error between the actual and predicted value, which will be the difference between the actual minus predicted values. So here 10 minus 7 will become 3, 16 minus 14 will become 2, 13 minus 17 will become minus 4, 19 minus 20 becomes minus 1 and 7 minus 4 becomes 3. Now just calculate the total of the errors. While calculating the total, we'll treat this negative value as a positive value. So here the total of the errors will become 3 plus 2, 5 plus 4, 9, 1, 10 and 13. Then we'll calculate the square of the errors. So here 3 square will become 9, 2 square will become 4, 4 square will become 16, 1 square will become 1 and 3 square again is 9. And we'll do the total of the square errors. So this will become 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 plus 16, 30 and 39. To find the MSE, that is the mean squared error, we'll divide the total of the square error values with the total number of records. So here MSE will be equal to thirty-nine divided by and we have a total number of records that is five, which will be seven point eight. Let's name this as model A. Now, for the comparison purpose, we'll create another model that is model B. We'll have all the columns here. And we'll keep the actual values here same. We'll just change the predicted values. So let's take some random values. Um, We'll keep this as 13, we'll take this as 20, we'll take this as 12, 18 and 3. Now to calculate the error, we'll subtract the predicted values from the actual values. So 10 minus 13 will become minus 3, 16 minus 20 will become minus 4, this will become 1, this will be 1 and this will be 4. Now to calculate the square error, we'll just square the error values. So this will be 9, this will be 16, this will be 1, this will be 1 and this will be 16. The total of all the square values will come out to be 43. Now to calculate the MSE again, we'll divide the total square values with the total number of records. So here this will be equal to 43 divided by 5 which will come out to be 8.6. If you observe here, the total of the errors in both model A and model B is same that is 13. So which model to prefer? Since the mean squared error of model A is lesser than model B, we will prefer model A because we are okay with a model that has small small errors. but in model B, there are some significantly large errors 
suppose in this case 16 minus 20 that is minus 4 minus 3 and this here 4. So we do not want a model where the errors, large errors specifically are more frequent. We can have a model with the small errors that will be okay. So we will prefer model A over model B. This brings us to the end of this video and I hope you like the video. If yes, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe our channel. See you in our next video. Until then, happy learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.